So in my last videos, I've been showing you the worst of the worst Kick has to offer, but there's actually a group of people who are actually worse than the worst people on Kick, and that is the people who SWAT others. If you don't know what SWATting is, it's basically making a false police report that requires a SWAT team to go to whoever's house and basically point guns at them until they realize it's yet another false alarm. I don't have any of the numbers, but there has to be a stat on how many times a SWATing situation is fake versus real. I can't think of one time in the history of people getting swatted that it was done with the fear that only a SWAT team can stop the problem. These are the situations a SWAT team is trained to handle. I don't understand how it's so easy for someone to claim one of these things is happening, like their phone wouldn't be ringing like crazy if there was an active shooter or even a terrorist threat. I get better be safe than sorry, but after about the 50th time of going to the same fucking house, I'd expect someone to make this a little less of a problem that streamers have to deal with. And even if it happens to a streamer I don't like, I still think it's stupid because one, it's 2024. Most streamers know that this is something they're going to have to deal with. And all of them know now just to be calm and they'll eventually see that it's a false alarm. I really think the people who swat others think the streamer they're calling about is going to be like, it's fucking go time, baby. And then pull out their gun stash and be like, no one's taking me alive. And then getting a shootout with the FBI and then they eventually just die. When in reality, it's just them talking to the police about how their dumbass viewers did this. Sometimes you don't even get to see it because they're so used to it. They'll be like, well, guys, I'm getting swatted and either turn off the stream or just leave the room so whoever called doesn't get the full satisfaction of seeing what they did. But the other reason I bring this up is because I saw this clip on Twitter of Convy, a little reminder about who he is. Hello, my name is Steven. I'm not from New York. I lived in Miami in a multi-million house. Everything been given to me my entire life, including my allowance. Again, I've realized that I'm an internet gangster. But there was a clip of him posted with the caption, Convy met a hacker on Monkey. But as I'm watching this, the swatter doesn't realize, neither does Convy, that he just exposed himself after showing his monitors. Hey, Mr. Weapon nigga knows if it's running. Oh, look at this dumb nigga, bro. Look at this fuck nigga, bro. Hey, man, you ever been swatted in, you know, wherever the fuck you're at? Yeah? No, you, you know pussy. who I am? Do you know you who pussy, I am? You pussy, I'm nigga. all over YouTube, man. I'm the guy that swats people. What's up, man? How you doing? So one, we can't even see what the fuck this is. That looks like a Twitch logo, but we can't see shit because of how dark it is. And these two icons are in the way. And being all over YouTube is a stretch because I'm on YouTube daily and I haven't seen your inbred face once. If you guys didn't notice, he has that permanent tobacco lip, which is very prominent in the inbred community. He also thought calling a Mexican the N-word would hurt him. I get that the dreadlocks kind of threw you off, but also inbreds aren't the smartest people out there. Yeah, give a fuck. Well, you will when I show you this FBI anonymous tip page right in front of your face. You want to see it? Want to watch the dark web too? Want to watch the dark web with all the CP on it too? For real? I'll fucking ruin your life instantly. Now, like I said, this is where he fucked up because all that stuff on his monitor that makes it look like he's a hacker is literally from the website pranks.com where you can make your desktop or whatever look like you're hacking into the McDonald's mainframe to see what the Mac sauce is made out of. Look, I can even get the fake Bitcoin miner like he has. Maybe if this was a movie, it'd be more believable, but even hackers get eye strain and staring at these neon green pop-up windows for hours on end will fuck up your eyes more than staring at the eclipse without those sunglasses. Unless you're an actual child, if someone showed me this hacker screen, I'd be like, yo, what game is that? Is that on Steam? What's, what's that called? How much is it? Nah, you tough. I ain't gonna lie, you tough. Come, come over. I'll Are show you? you stuff. I'll beat the fuck out of you. You will? Yeah, you wanna get fucked? You wanna get shot or raided by the feds? Which one? You pussy, nigga. Suck a dick, nigga. Yeah, I'm a pussy, but I'll still ruin your life. Where are you streaming pussy, at right nigga. now? Don't worry about it, nigga. Where are you streaming at, kick? Some pathetic loser app that's owned by a pedophile that likes little kids, just like Riot Lowell. Here, here, look at this, buddy. I just took a screenshot of your face and I'm definitely swatting your house. Yeah, I'd call the cops if I were you, by the way. Does he think he's talking to a 12 year old? Convy has been swatted before and showing him that you went to the FBI's website isn't going to scare him. Anyone could access that site. It's not like a site that only hackers can get to. And he exposes himself again, because if you pause the video when he's showing you the FBI page, the other tab he has opened is called Online Hacker Simulator. That's a classic hook, line, and stinker if I've ever seen one. This guy chose quite possibly the worst person to try and scare because that clip has more than a million views and if you go over to TikTok, people in the comments also know that he's using hacker simulator he then continues to try and act like he's this mysterious swatter even showing a supposed nda the u.s government gave him even saying he went to jail for 15 years for snitching on anonymous members put john your hair nigga buddy this is an nda this is an nda from the u.s government buddy 
Okay. Who you really want to find out who I am? To prison for 15 years for snitching on anonymous members. Who do you think I am? What is this guy, like 30 years old at most? That means he went to jail at 15 for 15 years? No, yeah, that make that, I, I believe that. It totally makes sense. I'm on an okay. FBI watch list. I do not care. Okay, congratulations. Right? What do you say other than congratulations? Showing an NDA doesn't mean you're some secret mercenary the government hired. That's probably not even an NDA. That's a certificate he got for finally being taken off the sex offender registry. But after that threat doesn't work, he tells Combi to Google him after saying his name once and doesn't repeat it the second time so we can look him up like he just told him to. Google the my name, Justin Trujillo, bro. Google my name. Do it, pussy. Do it, pussy. What is it? What is it? You didn't hear it? That's your fault. Justin, what? Dumb, dumbo ass ears, too. Nah, bro, come on. You're trying to argue. Like, I want to find out who you is for real, bro. Justin, what? Take a picture of my face and reverse image search it if you really want to. They're going to say you, nigga? Oh, it is. Because facial reconstruction is definitely a real thing. And you just are too stupid to understand or even comprehend anything I've said to you. Your name is on your fucking wall, bro. It's time to sunset that shit and grow up. What? His name is on his wall too. This guy definitely does not have any friends and all he does is try and scare people by showing them the hacker simulator page he's on. What's really funny is that you can tell Convy is somewhat bothered by this, probably thinking in the back of his head that he might get swatted, but it didn't happen, obviously, because this guy was just trying to get a reaction and after not getting what he wanted, he moved on to the next person. He's gonna show his government issued NDA. Like I said, these are the only kind of people who are worse than any streamer you know, and even though he wasn't legit, that's how these people act. They think swatting is a way of showing dominance when it does the exact opposite because it shows that you're too pussy to do anything yourself. You have their address. If you really wanted to scare them, you'd show up to their house. But seeing as he likes to be in a dark, confined space, that's going to be almost impossible for him. Remember, if you're trying to make someone think you're a hacker, at least close the tab you're not using. Until then, see you guys tomorrow. Peace!